Yesterday, I paid a visit to Union Island of St. Vincent, together with the Prime Ministers of St. Kitts, Dominica, and Grenada. Prime Minister Dr. Rav Gonzalez of St. Vincent also accompanied us. I, I, I want to tell you, the situation in Union Island is really one beyond description. No picture, no television, no television picture can show you the, the destruction that happened in, in, in that island. To, to what, what I saw, possibly 99% of all the houses were, were destroyed. Everyone, almost everyone, is displaced. Um, the, the, the shelters are full. In fact, some of the shelters, some of, of the buildings that ought to be shelters were destroyed. And we really need to reach out to our brothers and sisters in, in Union Island. The, last week, I also went to Kairaku in Grenada, and the situation there is just as depressing. So the, the St. Lucia government will reach out to our sisters and brothers in these islands. I have asked the, 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 the accountant general to open an account where St. Lucians can put in donations for the people of these, these islands. The number of the account in the Bank of St. Lucia is <coughs> 901-462-669. That is the Grenada and St. Vincent relief accounts. I'll say it again. 901-462-669 at the Bank of St. Lucia. And I want to say to the people of St. Lucia, it is better if you, you send in monetary uh, donations, which the government will use for, for, for the people. It's, you, um, we, they appreciate everything, but m monetary donations would, would, would suffice better. Um, the cabinet will meet tomorrow, and we will decide what monetary contribution that the Central Asian government will make to St. Vincent and, and Grenada. And I want to make a special plea again to, to the people of St. Lucia to do whatever you can. Do take whatever adaptation methods you can take to limit the impact of hurricanes in St. Lucia. In fact, I will address the nation very shortly, basically on hurricane preparedness. Because what I saw, all the people of these islands are experiencing is really, really traumatic. And, and I want to call again on the, the international financial institutions and the, the uh, developed countries to, <clears throat> to see what we can do. It really is, is what we're fighting. We're really fighting is something that we are not the cause of. We are not the biggest emitters. We are the, one who's, we are the ones who suffer the most. I want to call, I understand that the, 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 the UN has begun the process initiating an MVI. But I hope it doesn't get stuck in the bureaucracy. It's okay to have these things, the MVI has said, it's announced, but it may get stuck in the, uh, in the uh, 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 bureaucracy and never, never arrive until another hurricane comes. We need to be flexible. This is really a cry for humanity what's happening in, in these islands. And we need to be flexible. So the IFC must be flexible. We have to find a way to get around so that the aid can reach these people. And I'll tell you something, any figure that you've heard in aid for any of these islands is not a percentage of what these islands need. No matter what you hear, it, it, it may sound big. You may hear, say a figure of X amount of dollars given to an island. What, is, what happens there? What is it? What I saw, the money that is said have been, that may have been given or will be given to these islands is not a fraction of what they need. The entire country, the entire island is devastated.